Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Sarah here, aka Posh Deluxe, with a video book report on Morgan Matson's Since You've Been Gone. Since you've been gone. Cover story. Delia's. And I mean that in a great way because I still kind of wish I got Delia's catalogs in the mail. These girls look adorable. Not only that, uh, they actually resemble the characters. Um, here's Emily, our heroine, looking kind of awkward and unsure of herself. And then we've got Sloane, uh, who looks fabulous and hip and cool as a cucumber. Uh, the most important part of this cover, though, is the ice cream. Ice cream, almost as good as a champ can. All right, here's the deal on this book. So, Emily and Sloane have been best friends for two years. They've been basically attached at the hip. A better way of saying that is that Emily is an appendage to Sloane's wild, bohemian, really fabulous personality. But suddenly, two years later, Sloane is gone. Uh, she's moved away inexplicably, and Emily's left alone, feeling sort of like a discarded, useless limb. She has no purpose, has no idea what she's gonna do for the whole summer. But then, in the mail, she gets a list from Sloan of 13 things she has to do. Kiss a stranger. Go skinny dipping. Apple picking at night. Sleep under the stars. So Emily decides to tackle the list in order to feel closer to Sloan. But she ends up becoming closer not only to herself, but to a guy named Frank Porter. Oh, that Frank Porter, who is the student body president, all around good guy, and who happens to be super cute. BFF charm. Eventually. Okay, so when the book starts, Emily is... <sighs> Emily can be so lame. She's really boring. She doesn't really have her own personality. She is way too dependent on Slim. Boring. But as the book progresses, she basically grows a pair. And she gets a lot more interesting. Uh, she kind of won me over uh, when she decided to have a dance party all by herself while crashing a wedding. <laughs> By the end, she has really blossomed into her own individual person, and that's a person that I would totally want to have a slumber party with. Swoonworthy scale, seven. I'll be honest, uh, when I first met Frank Porter, I wasn't super interested. Um, he's really clean cut, kind of preppy. He's just really nice. And I wasn't sure Emily should let him out of the friend zone until Emily and I discovered an important fact about Frank Porter. He has surprise muscles. Surprise muscles! Uh, so yeah, Frank got hot. I loved the deliciously slow evolution of their relationship. And it takes an awfully long time for them to realize their attraction to each other, which makes for some super juicy reading. Also, surprise muscles. Talkie Talk, the school of Sarah Dessen. Just like Her Royal Highness Sarah Dessen, Morgan Matson's style is really light and clean, but it has an undercurrent of strong emotion. It's easy to think that this is a beach read because it feels like a beach read, but the themes explored are actually really complex and serious. The easy breezy style of this book makes it easy to devour, but don't rush it because you'll miss out on some really excellent character development. Bonus factor, bucket list. Every challenge on Sloane's list gets its own chapter in the book, and I had a blast watching Emily wrestle with the craziness and sometimes weirdness of the items on the list, including such tasks as steal something, break something, dance till dawn, and my personal favorite, hug a Jamie. Bonus factor, Lilas, love you like a sister. Chicks before dicks. Even though Sloane is absent from Emily's present, uh, the main theme of this book is actually about female friendship. Like most besties, there are things about Emily's relationship with Sloane that are really magical um, and wonderful, but there's also things that aren't particularly healthy. And while I love me some romance, and there's plenty of romance in this book, I found it refreshing to read a story about the ins and outs and ups and downs of female friendship. Casting call. So for this book, I basically pilfered the cast of The Carrie Diaries. I chose Katie Finley as Emily. We've got Brendan Dueling as Frank. And then naturally, I had to go with Anna Sophia Robb as Sloan. Relationship status, summer lovin'. This book was everything I wanted in a summer romance. It was fun, it was flirty, but it also wasn't afraid to get real with me. We had a blissed out time together, and I'm pretty sure our connection is gonna far outlive the summer.